is God's first drug. At 19 years old, Nancy Nevins was living a life a teenage girl from Glendale could only dream of. It was intoxicating. She was the lead singer of Sweetwater. We were like the first to really uh, put together classical and jazz and Latin. The first band to hit the stage at Woodstock. We had to get back to Los Angeles because the keyboard player was in the Air Force Reserve to stay out of Vietnam. And it was that weekend, he had to be in Riverside at 6 in the morning to report to Uncle Sam. So we said when we got the call for Woodstock, sure we'll go on, but we have to go on first. Sure, a lot of people here. Hope this festival turns out real nice. My name is Nancy Nevins. They had no idea they were making history. Sweetwater was really the sound check for Woodstock. It was the summer of 1969. We were in demand and we were playing everywhere. Nevins was cutting an album, appearing on TV shows with Red Skelton and Steve Allen. I really thought the only reason for me to live on the planet was to sing with that voice. Performing with legends like The Who, Santana, and Jefferson Airplane, Sweetwater was on the road to rock and roll fame. I could not imagine my life without singing, without music. She didn't know it, but she would have to just four months after taking a stage at Woodstock. It was December 8th, 1969. A car crash in front of her shut down the Glendale freeway. There was not a, a clear lane to go through. So I stopped my car, I said to my friend, Whew, we made it. Right after I said that, A drunk driver hit her from behind, going 65 miles an hour. I went straight up and made a crater in a roof the shape of my head. Doctor said she wouldn't live. Then I didn't die. And they said, well, if she lives, she'll be a vegetable. But Nancy came out of her coma. She recovered from brain damage to her motor center as her band stood by her bedside. Well, they said they'd wait for me. And I wanted so badly to get back. I just could not let go. I could not let go. I could not let go. But she would soon learn that her vocal cords were all but destroyed. A couple years after it happened, I would wish they had taken my arms and legs instead. She would never sing again. That was hard. Don't forget her. I, um. Don't forget her. I didn't expect to have that emotion on that. Sweetwater disbanded. Nancy worked hard to retrain her voice and strike out on her own. Her belting voice. Now a whisper. I almost died on the wall. 34. I was in a coma. I didn't have a heartbeat. And I met the angel. Her music career crushed along with her vocal cords. I just hit bottom. That's when Nevins turned away from music, drugs, and alcohol. I've been clean and sober for 33 years. And started over. I knew music, I knew that musical life, but what about being a person? What do you do when you're a person? What do people do? And I had to learn all that. There's more to me than just the voice. She turned her songwriting into teaching writing as an English professor at Pierce and Glendale Community College, making a positive impact on her students. I can do a lot of good, you know, but I'm called back like a siren song to music. Now at 59, she knows who she is. I know that life is, uh, is in the now, and I know you need to enjoy what you're doing. You need to love it, and you need to be there for people. And she's back on stage, solo. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Her music doesn't sound like it used to. Sometimes I feel like there's nobody there. But it doesn't have to. And I'm a long way. And I'm a really. It's taken her decades to learn. It's not about the song, but the singer. I think success is being able to be in your own company and enjoy it. I'm home again, home again, home again. In Tahunga, Stacy Butler, CBS 2 News.